Hey guys, my name is Brynn and I'm an officer of Sea Club. Um, this week is Earth Week and Wednesday is Earth Day. Since we aren't uh, together as a school to celebrate it, um, Sea Club has put together a short video about what you can do at home to help the environment. We're going to hear from some officers including Grace, Kira, Marina, and Jackson, and we hope you enjoy. Hello everybody, happy Earth Day. My name is Kira. I'm going to be showing you guys two really fun things you can do for Earth Day while you're at home bored. They're super easy, super quick. You don't need a lot of stuff to do them, so anybody can do these at home. So yeah, enjoy. Right, so the first thing we're gonna be doing is growing an avocado right from the pit, and all you need are three really simple things. The first thing you need is just a glass of water filled right to the top. Second, three toothpicks. And then last, you're gonna need an avocado pit. And this is one that I literally got out of an avocado from a grocery store. Also make sure you clean the avocado pit because it's gonna be really gross if you don't. And then also make sure that you know which part is the top and which is the bottom. The top part is going to be the pointy part, and the bottom is flat. This is important because the roots grow up from the bottom, so you want to make sure that's the part that's in the water. So then you're going to take your toothpicks, and you're going to stick them in the avocado, like that. And then you're going to do this with the other two at the same height, so it's all even. And then you're going to take this and you're going to just place it over the cup like that. So notice that the top part is sticking out of the water and the bottom part is in the water. You're going to put this by a sunny window and make sure the glass is always kept full. So when I grew mine a few months ago, it took about a week for the roots to grow out from the bottom. And the first thing you'll notice when you do this is that it's going to start cracking right around here. And that's so you know it is working, I guess. And then this avocado is a few months old and I wanted to show you guys the roots. They look really cool. Um, and the roots are gonna be the first things that grow. So the roots will start to grow and then it'll start to sprout like this. And then when, when it gets about this tall, you do wanna pot it in soil, but I didn't do that because I wanted to show you guys how cool the roots look. But yeah, so that is how you grow an avocado plant. The next thing is pretty self-explanatory. It's basically how you can do your own seed starting kit at home. So first, I just took an egg carton container and I cut off the things that are usually on the sides. So it's just the part where the eggs would go. And then I have seeds in potting soil. And if you don't have these, they're probably really easy to find online somewhere. And then I also have a spray bottle full of water. So the first thing we're gonna do is take the egg carton container and we're gonna fill up these little guys with the potting soil. I just used a spoon to do this and I filled up all of the slots. You also want to spray them with water to get the soil moist. The next part really depends on the actual seeds you use. You want to look on the back of the packets. There will be lots of information about how deep to put them in the soil, how much water to give them, and sunlight. So you really just want to read back for this part. To make the holes, you can just poke with your finger into the soil. Place however many seeds the pack tells you and then gently cover them. Lastly, just spray them really well with water and you want to do this every day. So this is my finished product. When they get tall enough, you wanna transfer these into a pot or an outdoor garden. And you actually get to see an outdoor garden right after me, it's Mr. Norval. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and happy Earth Day. All right, here is this year's bounty. Got tomatoes, sunflowers, got my peppers, cucumbers, spinach, some watermelon, squash, a few flowers in there. Got some bean plants, horseradish. Really excited about that. So I've got all my seedlings watered here and I'll let them sit out in the sun all day, keep growing. And when these things are big enough, uh, I'll move them to my larger raised beds. So here are my four raised beds. Right now they're full of weeds, but that's okay. And we'll move our seedlings here when they're big enough. These are really easy to make. Just buy the lumber and put it in an area of your yard that gets a lot of sun, maybe a south facing area. And then you just nail it together and get some dirt. And so each one of these beds will have a different set of plants. Tomatoes do really well in a bed with lots of basil because basil is a natural insecticide and will keep all the bugs that plague tomato plants away. If you don't want to make a raised bed, it's just as easy to buy a bucket, 
poke some holes in the bottom, drill some holes in the bottom for the water to drain out, fill it with soil and just water it every day. So very, very cheap and you can grow enough tomatoes in a bucket like this to feed an entire family. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you guys have any questions about how you can start your own garden. It's a great thing to do with your extra free time uh, and it's a great way to provide some really good food to you and your family. Happy Earth Day.